What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy Trending Ken back again with some news you can use, man. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood up here in Northern California, man. Mozzie been signed to CMG. We needed that, man. It hasn't been a national level star to break out in a very long time in Northern California. So congratulations to Mozzie. But there's also a backside that comes with every good thing that happens, man. And we gonna get into the politics of the Northern California rap scene, man. But before I get into that, you know what I need you to do? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, man. Get in the comment section if you don't want to subscribe. Then we can talk about it. You can come back later and subscribe, man. You can be anywhere in the world you want to be, but you right here with me, man. Trending Ken. Hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you nothing. Now, we know that Mozzie's been signed to CMG, and that's a very, very good look for Northern California and the rap scene going on up here. But however good it is, it's also equally as bad because there's a line of division clearly drawn in the sand when it comes to Northern California and the rap scene out here, which is not a good thing. A lot of people in interviews ask, how come no Bay Area artists or Northern California artists ever make a national splash? And part of it is because the egotism, egotistical ways that we have up here, and I'll be the first to admit it, Northern California is very egotistical. You know what I'm saying? We like to separate ourselves from everybody else. For example, you'll hear somebody say, oh, Mozzie, he's from the Bay Area. And he's like, nah, bruh, I'm from Sacramento. And he's not saying that disrespectfully. He's just saying, I'm from over here. And then there are two different places. You know, because if you don't know, in the Northern California area, you know, a lot of cities look at other cities like, oh, they don't do this like us. We don't do this like them, and they, you know, drive a line of separation. But this now, with the with the signing of Mozzie to CMG, would open up huge doors for Northern California. But the lines that have been drawn and the politics to go with all this stuff, it shuts the door equally as it opens the door. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you pick the side in this political stuff that go on up here in Northern California and you want to be a rapper, if you pick the wrong side, you may not never become a rapper. And I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to play a little clip of WAC 100, you know, picking sides with Mozzie. And I'm just doing this to show you how the politics will play a role in the Northern California, you know, national splash that should be happening that probably won't because lines have been drawn. Now, WAC 100 is telling the guy he fuck with Mozzie. Check this clip out. Yeah, they get mad at me. They be like, yo, I'm like, look, bro, I don't know that nigga. I fuck with Mozzie. Because them niggas was complaining a couple oh, years. God, nigga, you you know, can't make me know, know a nigga. I don't know. I don't know the nigga. Straight up. He went to jail, and that's when Mozzie took off. Hey, I, I don't know him, don't know his music. I ain't got nothing against the nigga one way or another. I just don't know the nigga. But I guess because him and Mozzie be decent, you know. He took that like, as a side. We gonna, pick his side. They like, why? They why? We going to um, definitely pick his side. They come down here playing with him. You know what I'm saying, nigga? We going to play back. I'm definitely going to ride with Mozzie. And everything with me. Believe that. That little nigga show up. Now, if that didn't paint the picture, I don't know what can paint the picture any more clear. It's a good day up in Northern California. We got a star who's made a national debut. It's going to be huge, man. He's going to be linked to all these different kind of people. And it's going to be good for people who associates with him. And that's where the dark side of the politics of Northern California come in because if you're on the other side, you potentially blackballed your career before it even got started. Because once he started going across the country and making all these affiliations with different people, you know, going to Atlanta, doing songs with Lil Baby, you know he gonna get that Drake feature. You know, all this stuff is popping. So if you on the other side of that and you're from Northern California, you essentially blackball. Wack just told you that he's riding with Mozzie, win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? So imagine when he go out there and make these connections with these other people and they gonna play the politics game. Everything that Mozzie got going in Sacramento with, with the ops and all that kind of stuff, that's real stuff. But what, you know, all this other stuff is not real. No bloodshed, nobody dropped, this, that, and the other, man. Congratulations to Mozzie. I want to see how this turns out, 
But like I said, man, with the politics and everything that's going around in Northern California, it's only going to be a handful of people that he choose to take to another level with him, man. And congratulations to them people. And congratulations to everybody who stayed out of the politics. This should be a lesson to you because a lot of dudes about to get blackballed. You ain't going to be able to go do songs with people from Atlanta. You ain't going to be good in L.A. And I'm not saying it's going to be beef. They just not going to mess with you. Wax said it best, man. You got to be a man and stand on your own two feet. You can't directly tie your success to another man. You can't want to be the man up under another man. That's just not going to work. And I said that all to say is you got to pave your own way, man. There's kings and there's servants. There's not enough position for everybody to be a king. So somebody got to be a servant, man. And it might be you. You got to play your position. You got the young homies that out here doing their thing. And they up under you right now. But they might shoot off in the sin well beyond you. And you got to be able to accept that. And that's part of the problem too. You know, you're not going to be the man forever. But if you continue to hold other people down because you want to be the only man, then we have situations like what we have now, which is a whole lot of talent in a particular region of the United States that's not being brought forth because of our own personal egos, man. Stay out of the politics, man. Get your mind right. Let's everybody get on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on like that, but I'm not mad about nothing because I paid my own way. You know, I ain't going to be next to nobody trying to be somebody. I'm going to be me standing right here on my own two feet, man. It's your boy Trendy Ken, man, and I'll be back with another video, man. Subscribe.